All right, what is going on, guys? Travis here with Wrecked You Gaming. Today, we're hopping on No Man's Sky, and we are going to create a trade route. Now, trade routes are one of the best ways to make money in this game. Um, it's pretty much the fastest way I've found to make money. You can also do things like search for ancient bones. You can set up a farm. Um, you can do your freighter and frigate quests, which all add money to your pocket. But trade routes, with a good trade route, you're going to make more than any other process. Now, there's some certain criteria that we need when doing a trade route. What happens is with every solar system, you have an economy type. And that economy type gives you some trade commodities, so some goods that you can purchase. And depending on the other economies that you fly to, other star systems, you're going to be able to buy and sell those at a, you know, buy them at a lower cost and sell them at a profit. So when we're setting up our trade route, we want to make sure that we're going to systems that have a high wealth economy that will give us the ability to buy more items. Um, you can see these top ranges here, these top five, the white ones. These are our trade components. So you can see it gives you the type they are. This is industrial components. And it also, in the purple there, it tells you where they sell at a profit. So we want to go to a high tech um, if we're starting at this system. And you guys can go on to the No Man's Sky wiki and look up economy. You're going to find this great spreadsheet that gives you two trade loop options. We have a five star system trade loop and we have a three star system trade loop. So today we're going to go ahead and probably set up maybe just like a three system trade loop and pretty much where you can go from star system to star system, buying the items, the next one selling the items at a profit. We did a trade run the other day and I recorded it here on Twitch, um, but it was, you know, uh, it, the volume of my microphone didn't really pick up right. So we did go from like 2 million to 10 or 11 million units, um, but that's where we'll start today. And we'll just start off fresh. So on top of understanding the economies, we want to also look at the buy and sell percentages. Once we get out to the galaxy map, you'll see that every star system has a certain buy and sell percentage. So we want to find places that are going to have a lower buy percentage, somewhere around 20, 25% and plus is really uh, uh, best. And then on the sell percentages, a 70, 75% sell percentage, is going to be best there. So that just pretty much means that we can get our goods for cheaper and we can sell them for higher amounts. Now on top of this, we also want to grab a hauler ship. I was able to find this one as a broken ship. And with as many slots as you can possibly find, that's going to be more ideal because obviously the more you're going to be able to carry, probably going to get rid of all this stuff as well. And then if you can have more slots in your exosuit, that's going to help you out as well so pretty much we want to make sure that we have you know as many slots and as much money to start as we can of course you don't need that much money to start it will add up very quickly you know a 30 minute to an hour trade route you're going to be able to make quite a bit of money now on top of this what i'm going to do is i'm going to at every trade route location i'm going to set up a base hub with a uh, teleporter and this way we won't have to warp to each of these star systems in the future when we do a future trade run we can just use our teleporting system to get to each one of our trade routes so let me go ahead I'm going to I think it's 50 ionized cobalt and uh, an ion battery is what it takes to build a a teleporter so I'm gonna grab three of these and then I'm going to grab 150 of these and then I'm going to head down and I'm going to refine these real quick before we get started. And then also let's make sure we have some warp fuel to be able to find, you know, because my hyperdrive isn't that giant. So we want to make sure we can find the correct star systems. So let me just get some prep items before we get cranking here. And I'll probably edit all this out so you don't have to see the basics. 
All right, so now we are prepared to start looking for our star system. So I went ahead, I also forgot we needed chromatic metal because we need 40 chromatic per base. So everywhere we're gonna build a base and a teleporter, we're gonna need 40 chromatic, we're gonna need 50 ionized cobalt, and we're gonna need one ion battery, right there we go. So that'll allow us to build a quick transport system between our trade routes in the future. Now let's go ahead and head out into space. Now, if you have a ship that has really good hyperdrive range and you have all the, the upgrade, upgraded drives and stuff, feel free to use them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my freighter because my ships right now don't have the, uh, the cadmium or the emerald or the indium drive. And when you're in your freighter, you don't need those drives to be able to, to go to green, blue, or red solar systems. So that's kind of a, a bonus for us. So we're gonna travel through our freighter and right now we're in a system that has all the criteria we're looking for, but I've already used it in a trade route. So we're gonna find a different starting system and work our way around in that area of the galaxy. So let's head to our map. ship crashed again or got, didn't finish its quest. All right, so here we go. We're on the warp map. And like I said, we need we want, we want to look for economies that are high wealth economies. So this, what we're in right now, is a high supply. We're looking for uh, good buy and sell rates. We don't have a great buy sell rate here. You can see 41.8% buy and a negative 13.8% uh, or no, 41.8% sell negative 13.8% buy. So we're not getting great deals on our purchase goods and we want to get great deals on selling goods. Um, again, you, you will need to install an economy scanner into your ship to be able to read this stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and find a different galaxy or a different star system. You can see I've traveled and seen a lot of these. So again, what we're looking for is a high wealth and we want a high wealth because we're going to have more selection of goods. You're going to be able to buy those more expensive goods. If you go to like a mid wealth here, like a balanced, it's going to, even though those buy and sell percentages are really good, um, you're only going to have a small selection of goods. And right now, since we're starting with like 10 million and so on, um, the high wealth, we're going to have enough to purchase quite a bit. And another good thing about the high wealth system is that you're going to, here's a wealthy, um, another good thing about the high wealth systems is you're going to be able to find a better chance of getting S-class ships. Now this is a mining economy. We want to go ahead and look at what type of actual economy that's a mining economy. So things we buy at the mining economy, we'd be able to sell at the manufacturing economy. This is part of the five solar system or, star, or four so, star system loop. So that won't be too bad. We can go ahead and check that out. Not too bad buy sell rates. The buy rates are really good. The sell rates are average. Um, considering this is going to be our first system we jump into, having a really good buy rate would be you know not not bad. So let's go ahead and we'll start here. All right, so we're in a new system here. How much do we have when we start to? We're at 10.7 million units, so that's what we're starting at. We'll see how much we can generate at the end of this run, and we'll hit like three or four systems. So first off, what we're gonna do, if I'm in a new system, you know, I usually like to upgrade my exosuit too. That'll give me another slot, just in case. Um, cost 100, 150,000 units or whatever. But what we want to do is we want to go ahead and find a trading post. Trading posts are going to give you better prices. They're going to give you um, more amounts of goods than if you go to the space station trade center. Um, so we're going to scan for a trading outpost. And we're going to head over there. These are nice planets. Gamma intensive. This looks like it's a cold planet. Yeah. 
So now when we get here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hop off the trading post, build a base right near that trading post, build a teleport right near that trading post, and then write down what the name of that base is called, the colony or whatever they, they go by. And we can rename it later, but if we don't build more than just that teleport and that beginning base computer, it won't allow you to um, upload that because it's not a big enough base. So you, what you rename it will, is not what's gonna show up on future teleports. So we wanna make sure that we have the correct thing. Sometimes it takes a while for the trading posts on my game to load too. So I'm holding X and it's not letting me land. Like right now, land, 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 there we go. Okay, so we are here. Ice storm's aggressive. Doesn't really matter what the weather or the sentinels are like, as long as you can get back from your your base. So I'm gonna hop off the edge here. Just move out a little bit from the distance here. And we're gonna build our base computer. We're going to claim this. It's the Iroxia colony. So if you're do doing a loop and we're on the last um, star system that since this is a mining economy, if we are, end up in a power generation at the end, mining economies buy from the power generation. So we want to come back and sell to the mining colony here. So we want to remember the Iroxy. So if I get a pen... can write that down. Now we can also go ahead and build our teleport. So this is for future sake. It's going to create much easier transport instead of having to warp here every time. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to write that down there. This is the Iyer Roxy. This is number one. Okay, so that's pretty much us right there. And as you can see, we can rename, but we can't upload because the base is too small. So you have to build a few more pieces if you want to upload, which we're not even worrying about it. This base will stay here either way. Now we're going to go ahead and head to our trading post trading spot here. And this inventory is not the same as the space station. So if you have enough inventory space in your, in your ship and in your... Um, personal inventory exosuit then you can go ahead and buy out the galactic trade terminal on the trading post here and then go to the space station and buy that out as well but to start I like the trading post because you're gonna get better buy sell numbers so we're gonna come we're gonna go buy items from the galactic trade network and you can see here we go we got negative 70 percent on the dirt and we start with the most expensive so these are 42,000 a pop uh, almost 20 percent off the total price and we're just gonna buy as much as we possibly can. Well, let me go my starship first. We'll fill up the ship first. And sometimes, you know, if you don't have space, hopefully we have enough space. Not enough, so I'm just gonna go five at a time until I can. There we go. All right, so that filled up our spaceship. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to switch to my exosuit and I'll buy out the rest of these. And then we'll go five at a time on this next one. Until my exosuit is full. All right. So there we go, from the 10.7 million I think we started, we spent about half of that. So here's our ship filled up. You know, we don't even need tritium, do we? So that opens a slot for us. Let's buy one more slot stack there. All right, so cost about 5.3 million, I think. I think we were at 10.7 if I remember correctly. Now what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna go ahead and uh, head to the next star system. Now since this is mining goods, if we look at those trade goods, 
you can see again the type it's a mining commodity and it tells you right there in the purple that it wants a manufacturing economy that's what will buy these at a profit so we're going to look for a star system that has a manufacturing economy and while i'm in these wealthy systems too we should probably start looking at a bigger hauler ship i mean this is a 30 slot but i believe it gets up to like 42 or something like that maybe uh maybe a little less but we could have more slots we could purchase items all right so i'm just going to bring my freighter to me And again, I probably should go to the Star uh, Space Station and upgrade my exosuit since I can still buy some slots. We could definitely use any more room since we have the money, but for the sake of time here, we're not going to worry about it. We'll always come back. Okay, so again, we're in a mining economy. We're looking for a manufacturing high wealth star system economy now, which is construction, industrial, manufacturing, or mass production. All right. Now, with an economy scanner, we can also turn on the filter. So if we go to economy filter, it changes the color of all the stars. And we're in a orange, which is the, again, mining. A yellow system is going to be the manufacturing. Now this is a high supply, so that is a high wealth, but those buy sell numbers are pretty rough. I mean, negative 12.5%, that's about half of what we want. 55.2%, that's still about, that's like 20 percent lower than probably what I would prefer. So we're going to continue looking. Now you can see there really good buy sell numbers, but only a comfortable economy. So it's not going to have all the goods we want. And for the ideal set, we're going to have all the criteria we want. Promising, you know, not quite there. If it's two star systems away, here's a booming with still not great. But if it's two star systems away, I did stock up on some uh, warp drive fuel just to, if we have to do two jumps to get there, we'll do two jumps to get there. All right, here's one that's not too bad. It's a little bit out of distance and I'm gonna set. That's where I want to go. So we got we got 54.8% sell rate. So that's not really great, but um, we have nothing really in range around with better. The buy rate though is negative 28.6%. So that's really solid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make that my destination. It's about two or three jumps away for me. So I'm just going to go pretty much as far as I possibly can. And what's it called again? Let's go ahead and the Snidia system. So it's going to be a little bit south. So again, I'm going to jump as far as I can towards it. And luckily we did stock up on some fuel. So there we go. That'll be probably as far as I'm going to be able to go with it. And we're going to make a few jumps to make it to that system. Again, if I had a better hyperdrive and updates and um, upgrades and all that type of stuff, we could have made that in one jump very easily. Okay, so we're gonna do another jump. our destination right there so it's given us the best way to go we're gonna go right here which this is a technology which may be something we can use in the future so what the one we're jumping to right now is actually a high-tech 
star system which when we go and make it to this manufacturing we're going to need uh, to sell our manufacturing goods in a high tech so we're going to probably just jump right back to this star system next I don't know if I need to visit the, the space station to be able to travel back here. Maybe I should go visit the space station real quick, just in case. here I will go ahead and upgrade this way I don't have to use warp fuel on my next jump I can just use a teleporter to come right to the space station and then go to a trade post Seventy costs right there. That won't really count to our profit. Keep that in mind. Whoa! What just happened there? our hyperdrive. All right, now we can go down to our system here. So this is our manufacturing where we're going to sell our goods. Again, we're going to go ahead, we want to find a trading post, and that's where we're going to sell our goods, buy our goods, then we can go ahead and use our, build our base computer and our teleport, and then we'll go ahead and teleport to that last system we were just at. So let me, I should have probably wrote down the name of what that was, just so I remember. Post. Let's go ahead and look.
look at that last system. Snidia Debunkazua. That's where we want to go next. So what we can do again, we can go ahead and we'll go ahead and sell off our goods right to start. As you can see, we have a plus 27, a plus 34, so we're going to make a profit. And these are just our exosuits. Switch to our starship. Now remember, we started at 10.7. We're at 14.4, so we made four and a half million pretty much there, three, 3.7 mil. All right, so we're gonna have to, when we jump off here, we're gonna have to build this base pretty quick since there's a, a storm brewing. this real quick claim base we'll have to write down the name of this one this is our second stop in the trade route called the Narik Outpost. So let's head back up real quick. We don't want to die. Yikes. All right, so Narik, write that one down. That's our second stop. And since this one doesn't have the best buy-sell numbers, we can, uh, you know, replace it some other time elsewhere. This is an extreme planet for sure. Okay, so now we're gonna buy out items. Now they have the high capacity, as you can see here, industrial components, sell well at the high-tech economies. The star system we were just in has a high-tech capacity. So let's go ahead and what did we get? Like 105 was the most amount we could put in this ship. Maybe a little bit more. Let's check like 120 just to start there. That filled up our starship. Let's go ahead and buy as much of this as we can. I think I can buy all of this. And then we're gonna go five at a time. All right, so we are full up. We had, what, like 14.4 mil there. Um, I could probably just go ahead and use that teleport to go up to the space station instead of have to fly. All right, so we are the cool location. Which station am I in right now? I think the Punkazoo Station Major, that's where we're at, right? 
and they do it by the order of the ones you've been to and then they put like any quest items and things like that quest locations above that so this will be the last one this will be the one before that we're gonna take that yeah that's all that this actually might be transferring us to the the last uh, star system, the high-tech star system. Pretty sure it is. Because we didn't go visit the one in that manufacturing star system. Which saves some time as well. All right, there we go. The bunk shore system. We're a tech and affluent. There's our ship, so we are good to go. Let's go ahead and find a trading post and we can sell our goods. There's our trading post. Looks like a nice planet. Next, it's not letting me land. So we can go ahead and sell off our goods. Go build our our base. Are we aggressive here? Upload the Kagan lower base. Lower. Write that one down. That's our third stop. more stop on the trade route and then we can go from the last one to the original mining facility we we're at and be good to go I guess I only brought enough materials for three that was a mistake I, I figured we would be doing a three route trade route we needed four but you know that's okay all right at the ships too if you find a bigger hauler ship might as well buy it all right buy goods let's see do we have any ionized cobalt that would be very helpful if we did we don't that's okay okay so let's go ahead and switch to our starship go to 105 
You can see last place was negative 20. We're at negative 48.3% buying here now. So much better buy sell rates. It's 110. Okay. Switch over. We'll buy out all this. To our fleet or our frigate freighter whatever you call got to find is a power generation star system because we bought high-tech goods so you can see used in power generation systems which is a energy supply fuel generation high voltage or power generation would be the name show up as red on our galaxy map economy scanner. Turn on that filter. Now we find a good red system. There we go. Here's a wealthy with a 77.8% sell, negative 28.8% buy. That's really good percentages and it's within warp just, uh, distance. So we're gonna head over there. And this will be our last one. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another 50 ionized cobalt and an ion battery just so I can make that fourth teleporter as well. And then once we sell our goods at the trading post, we buy as much as we can. I will go ahead and teleport to the original uh, colony we set up on the Iroxy, which would be the mining economy, which buys power generation goods. And that would be the end of our four-star system trade loop. chromatic metal either to set up. So we're going to need chromatic metal, an ion battery, and ionized cobalt to build our base and our teleport. If we don't find it quickly, we'll just head up to the space station and use that teleport to go back to our original.
We'll sell our goods. Hopefully chromatic metal and ionized cobalt is in this. That'd be super awesome. Right, sell our goods. Welding cells. Switch over. Sell for 1.2. Did I buy the wrong end of things? Because that's way less than we should have. I feel like I might have bought the wrong end. So we're only, we only got a million from that one run right there. I'm not sure what I just did wrong. I wasn't really paying attention. Okay, so here's a C40 plus 6. So it's a C class, but it's got 40 slots and 6 tech slots. So that's 10 more than the one I'm using right now, which would be really good for our our current trade routes. It just took off, but that's all right. Um, all right, so let's go ahead. Let me see if it's got chromatic metal. Chromatic metal, ionized, only got cobalt. Okay, so let's not worry about it. Let's, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy out all this good stuff. take off head back to the space station again I would usually build our teleporter and our base computer but I don't want to waste time doing all that when I don't I forgot to get those materials head back to the space station use our teleporter head back to our original base we set up on the mining facility or mining economy because if we look at the goods here this is a tradable energy source coming from the high-tech system and is sold in the mining economies, which is, again, where we started. Technology now, even with me messing up our little last run there, I'm not sure what I did, if I bought the wrong items or... What? Because we only made like one and a half million on that run when typically you'll make about five to ten on each little star system jump. Um, but still, we're in the positive here. We started at 10.7. In about a 30, 40 minute time, we made another probably 10 million. And we can definitely... If we had a bigger ship, we had more space in our inventory and all that, we would have been able to make even more. But again, this is one of the quickest ways to make the quick money. Be able to buy the ships like that one 40 slot ship. It had a base value of like 32 million, 33 million. So a little bit more than we could even afford. But now I don't have to worry about money for quite a while. 170, so we spent 250 total on our exosuit slots too during this run. All right, so we want to go back to the Iaroxy. This is why I like to write them down. And this will get us right down to the trade uh, trading post instead of having to do any taking off. 
Now, the trade goods take a little bit to refuel whenever you're um, gonna, if you do this, you can't do the same trade loop back to back without having much less goods and also having a decrease in the, uh, the, the amount of profit you'll be able to make. So you wanna let that kind of regenerate, maybe let it sit a day. So usually if you wanna do this, have maybe one, two or three trade routes total. And you can do one, the first trade route, then go to the second trade route, and then the, the third trade route, and you'll be good to go there. Now when we do go through the teleporter, our ship is going to be next to where we just teleported. So it's usually a little far away for it to be able to, for you to be able to sell directly. So I typically will go up here and I'll summon my ship to one of the slots. And that way we can sell directly. You could just take it off and land it here too. There's my ship in. See if we get any S classes or anything drop. All right, let's sell our goods. Much better. There we go. So from that run right there, just from there, we did about 10 million. So we started at 10.7, we're at 24.2 million in a good 45 minute run, pretty much. Not even really. Um, even came unprepared. And now the next time we do this, when we let it regenerate, again, now we have the teleporters and the base computer. So we don't have to do all that warping. We don't have to look for the star systems. Um, we can just use the teleports to go to the very next spot. And that is how you do a trade route. You're going to have, again, um, lots of opportunity to make lots of money with this. And if you combine these trade routes with a, a solid farming facility, you maybe search for ancient bones. And then also you have your freighter maxed out on frigates doing those quests. You're going to be able to make a ton of money very quickly. And that is pretty much us size. That is all it takes to do a trade loop and make a lot of money. So guys, thanks for joining me in this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.